So it's down here like this. Most people say, right, I'm very open here, I'm very open here because there's, there's nothing on here. And I'm saying, you're always open somewhere. Most people will, when they're kind of just, you know, intuitively going through this stuff, right, they want to stay here, right, because they think this, this feels fast, or well, this feels safe, right, okay, because I can see my blade and it's right in front of me, so if I come up towards him, he tries to go, oh, he tries to push away, right, but there's a problem with that position, you can't attack from it. Right? At least not with a strike. You can you can maybe thrust. Right? But even that, it's going to be very, very difficult to get that in. Right? So here, right, there's another place that I'm really, really open in this position. So if he's if he's just standing like this, right, and I'm here like this, what happens when he goes to attack? He has to bring his, his sword back, right? So anytime you have a position, a guard, where you're in a position where you have your, your blade backward, you're not open. You have a strike, a hit, chambered and ready. When I'm in here, what I'm doing is I don't want to, I don't want to look like I have it there. I want to open this door. I want to encourage him to attack to my open side because that's where my plan is. Right? Let's say I'm in this position here. Right? He comes in with an overhead strike. I'm going to step up into that strike. Whatever. Step up into that strike here like this. And then I can either step to the side there. Or if he then disengages and comes for my legs. Oh, pull the other Here. I can step back into that. Right? So, okay. So remember, here, up here, like this. When I'm like this, if I come in like this and he's, he can't do anything, right? Now, as, as I keep going here like this, I can always just drop it at in a moment's notice, get him to get into a pattern, and then move it like that. Okay. Most of the time when you're fighting, you're going to be fighting up in this range. Right? Our tendency is to go for the head. Right? Now we can go down low, but every time we go down low, right, these doors open up here. So we're going to return up there. Right? So it doesn't even matter. If we go down low, we have to return and hop. Right? So much of this stuff happens up here. Right? When we get into a bind, if we come into crashing together like this, we, our swords do not go down. <laughs> right? More than likely. They're going to go up. Because we're going to come into here and we're going to try to get these. Right? As we move around. Oops, sorry. Right? Like that. Okay, again, up here, right? Yes, people say, yes, you can kick somebody down there. Yeah, you can. I don't know, it would do tons of good. Might back them up for you a little, get you, give you a little bit of a way to um, re-engage if you're not quite happy. Like if we get into something like this, you're like this, I'm not happy with this, I just... and get back out. Sure. <laughs> Is that going to end the fight? No. no, not with swords, right? And, and don't try, and do not try kicking without being in a bind in a sword. Please. These legs. Yeah. These things where I'm going like this. Come on, right? Or your yeah, or anything here like this. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> you know. Even even these here, right? Your foot isn't going to do nothing to them. It's not going to knock them out. It's not going to kill them. It's not going to. They're still going to be there, and they're just going to go. You kicked me, right? Is this going to piss them off? Yeah. 
Pretty much. If you hit the knee right, that's your only shot. But you got one little window, and you better not miss. I said, you have to, and you have to hit it right. I'm sorry. Even if you break my knee, I can still cut your head off. The weapon is the dangerous thing in these scenarios. Always remember that. And we're con so we constantly have to remember and and be aware of where our weapon can go, where it will go, and where theirs is likely to go. Only on one yeah. scenario, if you break his knee, can't you just live to fight another day and make it? Work? In a one and one, yeah, sure. And it's funny because in historical combat, there's a lot of instances like the French and the English where they would fight duels, right? And the, I guess it was the English. Um, I, I think it was the English. They just basically, because they were fighting with like small swords, so they would basically just do this. You stand here like this, there you go. Yeah. You know. and, and the French were like, oh, you, you, you brutes, you heathens. It's like, yes, but... We're alive and you're Who's dead. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. All right.